Hey y'all, it's your girl Ray. You should already know. So today I'm going to be finally doing a long overdue Q&A video. A lot of y'all been getting on my buns, sliding in my DMs like, where the heck is the video at? Well, it's here. You're welcome. Happy birthday. So brace yourselves. I ain't going to lie. It took me a little minute because I was nervous to answer some of these questions my damn self. But this is a fun way for y'all to get to know your girl. So I have a whole book full of questions that you all have asked me. Can't really see it. Oh, well. But let's just jump on into it. Course question. How many licks does it take to get to the center of a Tootsie Pop? Well, baby, depends on what kind of Tootsie Pop you lick it. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm, I'm, funny thing is I dead ass did that one time as a kid and I tested it. And I want to say it took me, I remember it's in the hundreds. I want to say it took me 126 licks till I got to the center of that hoe. And it took me about two days to literally, uh, 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 until I was at the center. So yes. Next, why we haven't smoked together? Well, I didn't know you smoke. You didn't ask me. That's all you gotta do, shawty. Three, are you bi? Bilingual, yes, I am bilingual. Even though I know that's not what you always ask me. I mean, ooh, I gotta bleep that out. Oh my God, my bad. Bisexual. Um. It depends on who asking, you know. Sometimes I'm a butterfly. Sometimes I stay in my shell. But for the most part, I'm not bi. I wouldn't really, I wouldn't really classify myself as bisexual. I've never been with a woman. Never been with a woman. I mean, not my adult years. You know what? Let's just next. How old is Sean? Sean is actually two years old, and in cat years, that's like he like twenty or something. He a teenager. He like he around my age in human years. What happened to Michael? A lot of y'all may not know, but Michael is my last relationship. And um, long story short, I call him popping pills at a park with an old lady. He was cheating on me with an old lady. I'm just, a lot of y'all asked for me to do story time, story time because that was actually crazy. So I'm gonna just do a whole separate video for that. I, I just, mm. <laughs> how to cover up under eye bags well you're gonna need a color corrector if you have like dark bags and it's like dark circles you're gonna need something to neutralize that i could do a video on that too though are you a psychic shawty is you a psychic how you know yes i can tell your future i'm i know but dead ass i got some serious shit i mean like i'm low-key psychic I'm not just going to be like, oh, I know your future. Uh, it's not like that. It doesn't work that way. But your girl's energies is mad strong. Not just because my name is Raven and not just because I'm a Pisces. All that shit is coincidence. Do you think you've met your soulmate? Um, Romantically, probably not. But at one point in time, I used to think that my best friend, that, well, we're not friends anymore, but... I used to think that my best friend at the time, I used to think that she was my soulmate because, like, we were just like this. And, I mean, I still feel for her. Like, even in my heart to this day, I still do. But I, I feel like I've never met an intimate soulmate. I think I've only met, like, my friend soulmates in certain, certain situations, you know? Do you want kids and how many? Well, the way this world has been going lately... I'm, I'm afraid to have kids, but I really want kids. I would love to have kids. Like, I want to have three, maybe. I, I really don't know how many kids I want to have. I mean, if I become a baller and I become stupid rich, I'll probably pop out kids till I can't have them no more, honestly. Because, you know, living in Texas is kind of lonely for me sometimes. I don't got no family, so I be wanting to have a big family. Um, <clears throat> Wrap a quick 16 for us. Oh, shit. I can't count this. All right, fuck it, let's go. <clears throat> Is Reezy on that beat? Yeah, yeah. Mm, mm. Reezy on that beat, can't get shit for free. If you come to me, you gon' suck my meat. Yeah, no, I'm just kidding, I'm done. I can't rap a 16 right now because I'm nervous, I'm shy. Even though it's just me right now, I still know this is getting posted. I'm gonna write a 16 and then I'll come back and rap it. How about that? Yeah, I think that's fair. What's your biggest pet peeve? Ooh, my biggest pet peeve 
now that I'm thinking about it, cause I I've been it's been bothering me all week. I've been hearing people do it. It's smacking. I hate to hear people chew, eat, smack. All that stuff is nasty. That shit make my skin crawl. Yes. If you could be a celeb's face, who would it be? Um, damn, that's hard. I don't know. Really don't think about celebrities like that. Uh, well, I had a dream that I did Meg Thee Stallion's makeup, so I think I would do hers. Like, I would love to do her makeup because that's a lot of things that I see in her makeup that I think I can give her the look that she is specifically going for perfectly. Because she's not bad. But there are some things she could tweak a little bit. I, I could be there for her. I could do that. Yeah, I guess I'd say Meg. I don't know. Have you ever did a celeb's makeup before? No, not yet. I've done a celebrity's hair before. But not, not their makeup. Have you ever had a one-night stand? Shit, I didn't have plenty of those. I'm not even going to cap on them. Shit. <laughs> Hey, I had a phase when my heart got broke. She. Anyway, next. Do you believe in love? I don't know if I believe in like love, like in the sense of being in love, but I damn for sure believe in infatuation. That's real. I want to say I believe in love because I love people, but reciprocation, eh. It make me a little bit like, I don't know if love is what's up or if it's real, you know. What's your zodiac sign? I'm a Pisces, baby. Don't I look like one? All this artsy, farsy color, mystery, baby. What's your sexual orientation? I knew that shit was going to come up again. Why everybody want to know if I'm gay? And then I got a rainbow. This was not planned. My sexual orientation, though, on some real shit. I used to think I was pansexual, but then I found out pan means you can be attracted to anything, and I'm not attracted to anything. I'm attracted to vibe, though. Like, I love men just because that's naturally what I've been with or whatever. And sex, of course, that experience made me really draw to the opposite sex or whatever. But when I was growing up and shit, I'm not going to lie, I was pretty gay. So, I mean, I still am sometimes, but... It really just depends who's asking. I don't fit in the category. I don't label myself as nothing. I just like what I like. And I have not met anyone of the opposite sex. I met the same, damn it! To, you know, make me want to try it either. I don't know. I mean, I see pretty girls all the time. But I, I, I don't know. I, I guess I'd say I'm curious sometimes. But the only thing about that is I'm not attracted to studs. I, I've realized that. Like, I know that for a fact. Like, I don't <coughs> fuck with studs. But them pretty bitches, them bitches that look like me and better, I fuck with you. Anyway, uh, <laughs> she said maybe too personal after that. Nah, I ain't too personal. I'm an open book. Say what you want to say. Ask me what you want to know. When are you moving to Florida? Girl, whenever I can afford it and somebody contract me and fly me out. Because low-key, Miami is one of my stops that I feel like I'm going to live at one day. Because I visit it. And I loved Miami. Like, that shit was lit. And I didn't even do nothing. It was just the atmosphere. I felt at home. Um, do you think you'll ever move? For sure. I mean, I'm not originally from Texas. And I've been here, like, a good decade now. So I feel like my time here is coming to an end. I feel like it was a good place for me to grow after I left my hometown. And, you know, and kind of establish myself and get my business going. And now that I know what I want to be and who I am and what I'm going to be and all that good stuff, I feel like Cali or Miami or New York somewhere where the fashion and beauty industry is like, you know, a necessity and a delicacy, that's where I want to be. Yo, even UK popping. Have you ever thought about selling puss puss? Hell yeah, shit. Sometimes I still think about it, but I got morals to a certain extent. For the right price? I might do some strange for face change. Shit. Have you ever dated outside your race? Yes. Well, technically, he was like half and half, but it was out of my race because he was raised by his mom, who was Mexican, so and he looked like an Arab, too. He didn't look nothing black, but he said his daddy was black, but 
His mama probably lying. <laughs> How was it? It. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. It had its ups and its downs. Like whenever we had our differences, you like I could really tell. Like that. I, I want to say. Like, when I was dating outside of my race at that time, that was around, like, the Black Lives Matter stuff was going on, and it really showed me a different side, because the guy I was dating, his mindset was on that All Lives Matter shit, and I just couldn't understand that, so there are some times where, culturally, I would feel like he didn't understand me, and we would clash, and I'm like, he has a whole different privilege than I do, like, it, it was very different, I just, I... We were raised so much different. Our morals were different. You know, our values were different. How we respect people and how we treat people was different. I just couldn't really get with that that much. But at the same time, I loved being with them because they were different too. And I mean, I'm attracted to people of other races. I don't really see color. I like it all. I mean, it wasn't a bad experience. I, I would date outside my race again, but I feel like I would choose a lot wiser now. Because there are a lot of things that you do need to take, you know, in consideration. Like, for instance, if they have racist parents, that's a big deal. You need to know what kind of family you're getting yourself into. Yeah. Kind of deal with that. Who's your inspiration? Uh, I don't know. I mean, I have lots and lots of inspiration. I mean, it's kind of a broad question. I mean, I'd say my inspiration is Michael Jackson because that's always been my favorite. That's, like, that's my idol in my life, but... If you mean like makeup wise and for like the beauty and stuff, like my biggest inspiration is honestly all the influencers in the world that I see pop up on my page. From people who are famous to people who work in Walmart, just regular people who do makeup. That's my everyday inspiration, you know, like just seeing other people do stuff. That's what pushed me. Um, Are you dating? Nah, not really. I mean, I'm trying. I've been fooling with some dude for a little minute or whatever, but... He ain't talking about nothing. I know he ain't. I'm kind of, I'm low-key kind of wasting my time, but at the same time, it's not wasted because it's giving me something to do because I'm bored as hell and I ain't talking to nobody else. So, I want a date, but for some reason, your girl can't get on no date. You got to go on a date to date, right? Yeah. Are you single? As a mother Pringle. By myself, by my lonely. Yeah, I'm single. Why? You want me? Let me know. <laughs> Are you self-employed? Yes, baby. I work for myself, and I'm very proud to say that. I've been self-employed two years now. <laughs> yeah, I ain't had to depend on the man for two years, baby. I'm doing it. Do you live by yourself? Me and my cat. Where's my cat? Sean, come here. Yeah, I live by myself. I mean, well, that pretty much wraps up all the questions for the most part. If y'all got any more questions, we can always do a Q&A part two, whatever you want to know. But thank y'all for tuning in. Thank y'all for asking me stuff and giving me something to do. And my video is finally up. That means I can take these eyelashes off because they're not even glued on. I just stuck them on there. They're not glued at all because it's like 3, 4, 5 in the morning. I don't even know what time it is. I don't even care. Oh, yeah, and before I go, don't forget, your girl has a giveaway coming up. And you know what? I said I wasn't going to show anything or reveal nothing, but because don't know, not that many people watch my YouTube anyway, y'all are going to get the luxury of seeing the things that are going in the giveaway firsthand. So, first and foremost, we will have some merch. Let me grab some. Uh, but just remember, I don't have any clothes on. And I look tacky. I don't care. Y'all my YouTube family. <laughs> I got on pajamas. So in the giveaway, there will be a crop top. You will get a Reezy Taught Me crop. Yes, yes, yes. And you will also get a Reezy Taught Me hoodie. Yes, yes, yes. It's getting cold outside, guys. So those are two items going in the giveaway. Another thing that will be going in the giveaway are going to be like some stones. I want to do some crystal necklaces because I've seen a lot of you all were interested in the crystal necklaces that I'll be wearing and stuff. So I really think it'll be dope to get people into that. Um, of course, I'm going to be throwing in some Baker's Box lashes in the giveaway. Gotta have lashes. Ladies love those. They're going to be some nice, super nice minks. Uh, another thing that I'm throwing in the giveaway <laughs> is going to be an eyeshadow palette. I'm still deciding on what palettes to throw in there. Um, I ordered the crayon case matte book palette. 
for the giveaway but i'm also thinking about possibly throwing in like some color pop or something i'm not sure people need to kind of tell me what they want because i don't know i mean i have a lot of stuff so i don't know what people don't have and what they're interested in and um last but not least my favorite part of the giveaway is something that i actually handcrafted by myself i was slaving for y'all but I really, really want people to participate in this, not just people who are into makeup, but, you know, men and women, just anybody. I want everybody to get on board because I have something for everybody, you know? So, anyhow, where is the lighter at so I can show y'all the last but not least? So, last but not least, what I'll be giving is a custom rolling set that I made. So, you'll get a cute little jar for your marijuana's. And if you don't smoke, you don't, it don't have to be for marijuana or anything. You can have a beauty set. You could put your cotton balls, your cotton pads, or whatever you want in this jar. It does not have to be for weed. You will get a custom grinder. Um, again, you do not have to grind weed. If you want, you could grind herbs. If you're a holistic individual like myself, you could do herbs. Or you can give it to somebody that smokes weed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You get a custom lighter because why not have a glittery lighter on my face on it? Die! It's amazing. You're gonna get a sparkly little ashtray because it's pretty and it matches everything else. And last but not least, you'll get my custom rolling set. And again, it does not have to be for weed. If you want, it can be a beauty tray. You can put your eyelashes on here. You can put your gun on here. You can put your condoms on here. Whatever you want on here. It doesn't matter. It does not matter. Yeah. So, you get a whole set. You get a tray. You know, it ain't got to be an ash tray. It can just be, I don't know, you can do nails and that fucker. I mean, oh, I forgot I got to bleep that out too. Dang it. So, you get the tray. You get a lighter. And you get the jar. You get all this stuff in my giveaway. So, I hope y'all are excited. That's all I got going on so far. So, catch me in the next video. I love y'all. Thank you as always. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And stay fooling with your girl, Ray. Mwah. <laughs> Good night.